GameSpot is back in Las Vegas for CES 2015. And Justin, a lot like last year, VR is a big deal. We have a lot of companies sort of jumping into the fray. And this year, Razer is sort of the big player, but they're doing something a little bit different. Yeah, Razer had several things that they're showing off here at the booth. They had a, a new keyboard called the turret that you play on your couch. They have a, a solution for streaming games onto your TV. But the most interesting thing is this OSVR, which stands for Open Source VR. But I, it's kind of a nebulous concept. It's very broad. What What is OSVR exactly? Right. So, I mean, Razer has a headset that they will be selling June 15th for $200 this year. But what they're doing is they're making the schematics for all the, the circuit boards, all the, the chassis and stuff, and they're giving that out to the public so the public can iterate on their concept. They're doing this so that they can sort of allow the people to drive innovation in VR faster than maybe a few companies can. Because everyone's got their own technology and they're keeping it a secret. So Razer's opening it up, and it sounds like maybe they wouldn't make a whole lot of money because they're selling this headset at cost. Their aim is to use their sort of know-how when it comes to controllers and user interfaces down the road, adopt the things that people do that are successful with OSVR, and then bring their solutions for controlling to the market. Yeah, it's not necessarily a competitor to, right. to something like Oculus. And, and they've yeah. compared it a lot to Android gaming and, right. and making it like kind of an, an open environment for that stuff to be created. Yeah, it sounds very like altruistic, which in a way it, it sort of is, but you know, at the end of the day, they're doing this so that down the road, they can make money when VR becomes a bigger thing. So it's a very interesting concept, and it's sort of strange to see open source in the hardware space, because that's not something that, that's very typical. So is this the biggest gaming innovation coming out of CES, do you think? I, I don't know about the biggest innovation, but it's it's something that they're trying to change the, the course for what things are, or the direction things are going. VR, of course, like so many guys are doing VR at the show this year. I, I do think that's what a lot of people want to get into, but will this actually make that big of a difference? And, and in some ways, I feel that it can. Like, this is making it open source will at least get more people on board with it and, and make it something that more people are working on, make it cheaper, and, and get more people with their hands on it. Because Oculus is interesting. Oculus does a really great job at what that experience is, but it's also very expensive, and we don't know when a retail version is going to come out. Yeah. Well, at this point, Razer's basically opened the floodgates for anyone to make them. So look at Etsy, look at Craigslist or eBay for VR headsets made from your neighbor, I guess? <laughs> I don't know. Don't buy those. It's pretty exciting. It's, I'm, gonna, I'm curious to see what's going to come out of this. So uh, yeah, stay tuned to GameSpot for more news coming out of CES 2015. We've got stuff coming all week.